Hello there guys, Vim Plays Games here. I'm back with another video. Now, on this one, this will be very simple, uh, and I'm not sure how quick it will be, but this is the best program you can use to monitor everything on your CPU. Now, before I found this program out, I used to have three or four programs open just so I could check my GPU temperatures, load, CPU temperature, load, RAM usage, and everything else. So, first you're going to want to go to camweb camwebapp.com I'll have the link in the description and just you know hit download it will download if not then click here and sign up because signing up will help you and give you other features while in the app now once you install it you're going to sign in and everything and you're going to be at the dashboard now it's going to look like it's going to ask you for your favorite color I chose green and this for in my opinion hurts the eyes now this feels like someone's taking my eyes and just destroying it with like a flashlight someone's taking like a flashlight to my eye or something so you could put that into night mode which I think looks nice lime green and uh, black so right here it tells you your CPU temperature and Celsius I'm not sure if you could change that to Fahrenheit but I usually just keep it in Celsius even though I'm not really sure the conversion to Celsius and Fahrenheit is but most of the things that say when you thermal throttle once you hit the 80 degrees Celsius you should be cautious so I don't know it's just easier to keep in Celsius uh, so it tells you your temperature here and your load now if you have multiple GPUs it will say all your GPUs and everything your temperature and load now if you'll go over here to this little eye it tells you on idle your average temperature is 33 or on community your average temperature is 35 difference in temperature uh, is nothing right now uh, it tells you your RAM it tells that I it shows that I have G skill 32 gigabyte and I have two 16 sticks of DDR4 uh, RAM now it tells you right here the top four programs that are using my RAM so OBS would obviously be the first one then cam client here itself um cam radeon settings and explore then shell experience host now right here is also my hard drive i only have one hard drive and it's about a terabyte but you know you never get that full terabyte in here so it tells you how much i used i used 227 gigabytes and i have free 703 now next you could go to build um but before that you have basic advanced and expanded we'll come back to the advanced in a little bit but build is basically you're not sure what your computer specs are which I also used I'm not sure if I have it on this computer anymore you could use that program but you know there's no point in using that now because now I got this one um basically tells you your processor I have an Intel i7 6700k unlocked and the code name is Skylake and it says the max TDP time is 95 watts, which means at full load, my CPU, not overclocked, at stock voltages and everything, it uses 95 watts. Now, if you are trying to upgrade your computer or see if your power supply is still capable of using the components without, you know, lowering their uh, power limit, um, you could just, you know, add up this, add up this, which my video card is 190, my max for my processor is 95, so, you know, there's like 285 or something like that, something like that, um, and then it tells you your socket type, so, you know, if you're looking for a new motherboard and you're like, oh, I don't feel like searching it up, here you go, my socket type for this CPU is 1151 LGA, so now you go on new, like, do-do-do, there you go, new motherboard, it tells you the stock frequency, same thing with the video card the default clock turbo clock there's no turbo clock for my card also I must have turned it off oh no and shaders which I'm not sure what the shaders are now motherboard it says everything I have for my motherboard that it's a Z170 Extreme 6 it's for the Skylake chipset which it says right here codenamed Skylake uh, my version bio so you know say, hey bro what's your bios version be like yeah I got P2.0 50 yo you the best and then you know that will tell you the last update for that BIOS was March 30th 2016 now what memory it says your exact brand G scale 32 gigabytes two 16 sticks manufacturer G scale capacity 32 gigabytes it even says the timings if you're interested in that it says that you have DDR4 and your default frequency 
Now also even says your hard drive down here that it has 931 gigabytes and how many you have free and how many power power on hours. Wow, it even tells you how long your hard drive is up and running. So let's see how long in days that is. So divide that by 24. So that means my hard drive has been running for 45 days. Jeez. All right, so if you also come back to dashboard and go back to advanced, you could get all of this on one screen. So if you have a second monitor, you could dedicate the second monitor to this. So it tells you your top CPU, uh, usage for apps and RAM, hard drive read, what's using the most amount of your read time for your hard drive and write time. Um, your FPS stats. Um, this is obviously you wouldn't have this automatically here because you know uh, I already messed up my first take on this recording, so you know that w shouldn't really be there. So it tells you your network information. That's how much my network is being used right now, and everything. Your average temperatures, your max clock, your minimum clock. So, you know, I have an overclock of a 45 multiplier instead of a 40, and it tells you my voltage. So, you know, if you have the same CPU as me, you might be able to get this overclock. Remember, all CPUs are different. You might be able to get the same overclock as someone else. Now, there's some people that might be able to get the best batch of, like, an i3 processor and be able to clock that thing to 5 gigahertz. And then there's going to be some people that can't even clock it an extra 100 megahertz. So, you know, you can always try this of this uh, speed or this multiplier with this voltage and if your computer doesn't turn back on clear the BIOS uh, clear the seam you do the clear CMOS which resets the BIOS and everything else so you even your fan speed now if we go back uh, if we go back to the small screen and go back to games it will tell you your average your game uh, FPS so we'll go we'll do that at the end of the video now tuning there was a disclaimer here on my first cut, but you know, it doesn't show up every single time. It basically said, if you fuck up your GPU, it's not our fault. Do not try to sue us or email us saying and ask for money for new components because we specifically said um, that it's not our fault. Now, they even went out and put safety settings on here saying that you could only do an 150% uh, overclock on... Uh, well, you could set the power up another 150 to 150 percent, but you can only do a 250 megahertz overclock on the core, and only a 500 overclock on the memory. Basically, trying to see even if you're one of those Joe Schmoes, but yeah, let me uh, just crank everything up. It, you won't. Hopefully, you won't completely fry your GPU. Now, I'm gonna show you what the gaming thing is. Um, if I go to settings. FPS uh, overlay basically I will have my regular FPS my average FPS my CPU and my GPU and the time up there and you could change the font and everything and I'm gonna have it to auto scale so for this to pop up I need to press alt and O I'm gonna actually put the shift and O shift and O or shift and T and I'll have it I wish you could change that to more like be like oh maybe I just want to press you know like F1 and have it pop up so let's go into a game and let's see how this looks give me one second guys okie dokie guys I just realized that the overlay cannot be seen by the by uh, it being recorded try to record some game but the overlay wouldn't be captured but now if we go over here and go to advanced now you can sh see that the uh, charts temperatures do go up as I game, I games for a little bit. Um, if you go to the GPU, probably definitely, probably definitely see GPU hour. The yep, temperatures went up, usage went up. So uh, it definitely does capture games. You can see that I played uh, CS:GO for a little bit. The duration isn't really right because I had it open. Um, so. It shows your max FPS, your average FPS, and your minimum. Minimum. Um, now, I do uh, notice that only certain 
device only certain games do uh, work. So I like Minecraft is iffy. I got it to work for a little bit and then I close on the program to restart it to see if it'll work again. But that wouldn't work. I tried BBG Drive. Um, that it really didn't work on that, but it did work on Counter Strike and probably other popular Steam games. So this is the best program in my opinion to use to keep track. Now you can always go into here, settings, manage my online account. And then you just, you know, you sign in. I'm going to sign in with Google. Let me, uh, uh, sign in. And what the hell, sign, keep me signing. Going to load, load, load. Okay, that's my username. That's nice. Edit my account information. I guess we have to go through all this information just to see other information. Okay, it's my email. All right, put my date of birth. Okay. All right, I want my password to stay. All right, save changes. All right, well, I guess that's what it has to do with your account. I guess it doesn't show you. Okay, well, thank you guys for watching. If you learned something new or if you think that this program is amazing, also um, hit that like button and subscribe. I really hope this helps your uh, problems or fixes stuff because I know monitor space is very valuable and having one program that could display it all is amazing. So remember, hit that like button, turn on subscriber notifications or whatever so whenever I post you get an email or a notification on your smart device. Um, I'm Vinny Plays Games and I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy your day.